So I'm actually getting a lot of people who are kind of making bad determinations. Alexa, turn off the light. Uh, and they're, they're kind of asking the wrong questions in my comments, or they're making statements that are just flat out incorrect mathematically. And I've had enough of these comments that I need to actually make a video about this. And I don't know if I'm being trolled into making a video about it or not, but it's important enough for the education of my viewers that I kind of feel like it's important that I make this video either way. So apologies if you're not a math person, because you're probably not watching the right YouTube channel if that's the case. The simple and utter fact of the matter is that to master something in, you know, the accepted science is around 10,000 hours. It's, that is up for debate, I know, but let's just say that that is the thing that you're striving for because from a number of years perspective, you are looking to do 40 hours a week as a hobbyist to be able to say that you have mastered software development engineering. That's five years at a full year's worth of work for a total of five years or nearly 10,000 hours. In fact, in this case, if you do the math, it actually requires over five years of experience. And that is why it's important to understand that as a mid-level software development engineer, you are not a master after five years. You are not a senior level engineer after three years. You don't know enough. You haven't mastered enough. You don't have the experience you need to be considered a master under these definitions. But what I really, really don't like to see is when I go in and I see people talk about how they're a hobbyist and they tell me, well, I've been a hobbyist for 10 years now. And, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm the equivalent of a senior, right? No, you're not. And so if you're a pro hobbyist individual and you've only been doing this for one year, you're a junior level person. Okay. This is a junior level person professional, you still have a lot more mastery than somebody who's been a hobbyist for 10 years. And so if you look at the actual metrics and you, you know, you're a hobbyist who does programming, you know, two hours a week on the weekends and you, you iterate and you think about it over the week and then you get down and you sit in front of your IDE for two hours every week and you dedicate that eight hours of time to your, to your hobby every, you know, every month for a total of nearly 100 hours a year, for 10 years, for nearly 1,000 hours, you are still going to be falling short. And you are still only going to have a small percentage of the mastery of a junior level software development engineer who has been doing it full time for an entire year. That's just how it is. And this is why when juniors are getting ramped up for their first job, there is such a big gap. Okay? It has nothing to do with how hard they worked in school, or, or maybe it does. Maybe they just didn't try in school or, or whatever. But the fact is a hobbyist and a professional are not the same. Now, if I were to go in here and I were to at, input my, yeah, it's like that. Okay. And, and it's true because I've, I've mastered DevOps, I've mastered QA and SDET, I've mastered software development patterns, I've done a lot of cybersecurity, I've done a lot of other things. And so as a result of that, I can reasonably say that I have stuff in my head that is equivalent to this based purely on the numbers. But if you are an individual who is looking at a hobbyist mentality versus a professional that has 25 years of experience, there is a huge gap and you cannot call yourself an experienced professional if you only have less than a junior level experience. It's simply not possible. And, and yes, I know this will trigger some people and I'm sorry, but your hourly project every week has nothing to do with your ability to say that you're a senior, because you're not, you're simply not. And if you claim that on your resume, you'd be falsifying your resume. There is such a huge gap 
between somebody who does something professionally and something who does it only as a hobby. Okay. If you are really, really, really interested in software development engineering and you critically want to get better, the only way that will happen is if you're doing it consistently for years at a time. And yes, if you can do this and you can keep this up for 10 years, two hours every every week, then you know what? Good on you. You've got consistency. You've got drive. I appreciate that. And that is something that a lot of people don't have. But don't trick yourself. Don't lie to yourself and say that you know as much as a professional or that you have the senior title. Because according to the numbers, you don't even have 10% of the mastery. And it's that simple. And so I get these comments on my YouTube videos. And I'm like, yeah, I've been a hobbyist for 10 years now. I'm sure I'm a senior. No, you're not. You're not even a junior, okay? Because looking at this, a junior is about, well, let's just say that they're twice as good as you are. Okay, a junior level engineer who's professionally trained and has worked at Fang is about twice as good as somebody who has been worked in tech for 10 years on their own as a hobbyist. When they've only done eight hours a month into it because they put 10, two hours a week, probably on the weekends or something. OK, so you can't sit there and make the false claim that you are a senior. And if you go around telling people that you're a senior, you're lying. It's that simple. 